Hello, this is Stacy from Truly Majestic. Today we're making this love rock. And I sketched it out on paper first. I had to do it several times before I got it exactly the way I wanted. We're going to be using these bumpy lines on the bottom as kind of a guide. So you can pop back to this picture if you are not sure how to draw it because the lines on my rock are very faint and it's a little bit difficult to see. I will also have a link in the description to another person's YouTube um, video tutorial that does sketching on his channel and you can watch him make this kind of sketch step by step really perfectly so if you're not comfortable drawing this love um, word you can go there and it will really walk you through step by step This is YouTube, so you do have the option of also slowing the video down using the settings. So you can slow it down to half speed or a quarter speed if you actually want to follow what I'm doing and go nice and slow and follow along. So I'm sketching out my rock, and then after that, I um, have already remixed my paints because my paints are so stiff, they just leave solid peaks everywhere. So I've wetted them down and watered them down so it's a little bit drippy and I'm going to just be blending over the entire word love and then I actually have to redraw it again over the top of my paint with the black outline. So that's what's going to be happening. So I'm using a fine, um, a little fine brush and I've decided to go from a very light pink and just kind of fade down into a darker red. Since this is love, and it's usually represented with red. As I'm going along, I'm really, really trying to do my best to stay in the lines. I didn't do too bad, um, but it is difficult. But if you stay within the lines, then if you leak out a little bit, that's fine because you're going to be doing a black outline over this entire word again and then you can just make your outline a little bit wider and thicker if you have some areas where you've gone outside of the line. So it's not a problem if you do go outside of the line. Don't panic and don't throw your rock away. You can fix it. Okay, so now we're finished making the faded love. Now we have to do the difficult part. This is really the most difficult part of the rock because you have to have a steady hand and you have to remember where all your lines are. So I have in front of me that little sketchbook of the drawing so I can look at it and put the lines in the right place because I am not a professional sketcher or anything and sometimes I forget what way they should be going and I had some wonky ones as I was practicing <laughs> sketching out so right, right in front of me I have that paper and you can just follow along and see what I'm doing by the way guys I would love to see how your guys' rocks turn out and if you make this rock or any other word that's popping out I want to see it I put a link in the description to a Facebook post of this rock and I would love to see your guys' pictures in the description. 
not in the description, in the comments of that Facebook post. This black paint that I'm using to outline is actually not acrylic paint. It is external paint for um, metal, for metal, and we used it on our windowsills. So you can actually use other paints available to you. You don't always have to use acrylic paint. And I have a lot of paint out in my shed that I plan to use up making things out of rocks. Okay, now that we have the words love on it, I chose to put some little white dots around the bottom of the love, and this paint that I'm using is actually also not acrylic paint, it is wall emulsion that I've used to paint my ceilings with. So it also works pretty nice, but I will tell you a drawback of using this type of paint when it comes to sealing it or if you want to do anything watery on top of the rock. This paint doesn't handle warm water very well. It will just slightly start to smear if you have it in warm water too long. So if you're resining it, that's fine. Just quickly resin it and it'll be fine. But if you want to put warm water on it, 
and leave it soaking wet for a little bit. It doesn't do very well. So I'm just dotting around like a halo around all of these letters all the way around. And I have a few different types of dotting tools that I use. And actually, let me just stop the video here and show you the different type of, of dotting tools that you can use around the house that you don't have to buy. I'm sure you guys have this stuff in your house. Alright, so these are the different types of dotting tools. You can see I have the back of a pencil. This is a little wire, um, just the same as a opened paper clip. The end of a bamboo skewer or just a little stick. And I've poked a pin into... Um, just some clay and that's actually what I'm using now is just the back side of a pin that is poked into clay it's just a sewing needle or a sewing pin so I go ahead and dot around all the way around and I'm using the same tool the whole time I just put more paint and sometimes less paint and for some bigger dots that I do later I, I use other tools Now that I'm happy with the white dots I have around, I'm going to be doing swipes. So you simply load up your dotting tool with paint and then just stick it down and gently drag it in whichever direction you want these little swipes to be. And there's no science to this. If you load your paint with your tool with more paint, you'll have a bigger swipe, less paint, a smaller swipe. And so I've just gone all around the entire rock swiping a light blue and then I get darker blue and then darker blue.
Okay, hooray! We've got that done. Good job, guys. You've done really well. And now I've let my paint dry for quite a while in the sunshine. So this is all completely dry. And now I'm going to be putting a little teeny tiny swipe of white over the top of the blue. Now, on hindsight, I should have picked a bigger tool to do my blue with and then used an even smaller tool probably to do my white with because on I wanted it to be more like ocean waves but it looks really frothy by the time I get it done there's an awful lot of white on my rock and I wasn't planning on it looking quite like that but it still looks super nice but it would have worked better probably with a bigger dotting tool so on we go thank you guys so much for watching if you are not following me, you can follow me on Facebook or Pinterest. I'm also, I also have my own website, and on that website I have loads of rock artists from all over the world that have put their tutorials there. So if you want even more inspiration painting your rocks, you can go check that page out, and I will have that link also in the description. Descriptions are good, you guys. All the good stuff is in the description. Trust me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I would love to see your awesome rock when it is finished. Have fun painting, and I'll see you next time with another tutorial.